morning everybody welcome back to the farm for day seven uh, today's morning project is going to be getting the door finished welded in this morning and the, and the metal put on it the tin and then we're going to go over on the tiny house and uh, prep the concrete there we got to finish putting in some forms and getting the rebar and some electrical conduit down in the floor that we need to put in get it prepped and our goal is to pour uh, one slab of cement uh, Thursday morning and so that's what we're doing today so we got a little bit of work cut out for us prep work uh, to get ready for Thursday cement we've got a solar light that we uh, if you've seen on our past videos that we done some testing for a solar company and so we're going to bring it out here so we're going to put in a 20 foot piece of galvanized pipe and put it up so that it shines this area gives a uh, light during the evening time out here uh, we have one on the by a Kubo, but we're going to put this one up on a pole, get it up higher so we can get better lighting. Yeah. Then today we'll go around and uh, we put the tape to hold the uh, insulation while we was putting the colored roofing on. Uh, we had a little breeze yesterday, so it just helped us like extra pair of hands. So today we'll go around, get the tape off, trim the insulation uh, that's out beyond the, the, the metal and get that all done then that'll kind of finish this up eventually there'll be a, a metal colored cap piece that we'll put on here when we get back uh, but for right now we're gonna get started on the concrete I nailipat pala yung ano namin guys uh, the meter for the water meter and dito siya we moved this from the bottom that was originally over there and I told Kuya Ador to move it here and so this is our new water line and then Reynold yesterday was digging this in here that's the main road to up to here and then for today's lunch they're waiting <laughs> hello you are today's lunch we're gonna make you tinulang manok <laughs> hello I think they feel that they're gonna be eating today. That's why they're they're looking sad. <laughs> Good morning. Maga tayong nag fried rice, so I'm doing fried rice and for breakfast. Because we don't have breakfast at home, so Charles requested for fried rice. So here it is. I'm cooking fried rice. Our fried rice. Our fried rice are made of garlic cooking oil um spam korean spam and egg and then we have a nor soy sauce and salt and pepper that's it it's very simple but very delicious So that's the advantage of having a storage, right? Yeah. To store everything and save. If something had happened and it rained tomorrow and we can't pour cement, it's safe. No oh, getting wet. All we're doing is checking and see if it's going to before we come out. So we got one, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Right. 
and the backup, we got to do four. What is it? Three, three, what? Three, three, five. No, no backup. There you go, right there. Right now. I just want to show you guys the screw that they use for the wall and the roof. So this is... What size of this screw, Daddy? Uh, it's called tech screws. Tech screws. With washers. With washers. What's the size? Uh, one inch. One inch. Tech screws with washers, one yeah, inch. This is what we Cut off blade. Okay, 600 pieces pala and then 600 pesos, so one peso each. So they're finally done with the door guys. So what they're gonna do, they have to measure the top so they can put uh, additional corrugated sink over there. And then that's it. And then they're gonna proceed to the rebar, putting the rebar on the ground on the other building. So you're gonna have to go up there Started the upper part already. They're finally done on the top, guys. Looks good. The door is up and it's finally done. So now we are going to proceed to the tiny home and we're gonna do the flooring of the bedroom so let's take a look they're gonna be laying all the raybar on the bedroom side and we are trying to put this uh, raybar today so by next day they're gonna be pouring the cement on the ground so that's it. What's the size of the bedroom again? 14 by 20. 14 by 20. Yeah, so they're leveling the ground, leveling the ground right now. Well, we're back on the floor in the tiny house. Right now we're trying to shoot grade and get the the floor depth for the concrete set. That's what he's doing. He's getting down to the de grade depth, and we got to dig footers around the edge. Set our forms. So that's what we're doing right now. Trying to get that started. So they probably wonder why I said the flooring is the first one we did. Because we're doing what we call a monolithic slab style. We're not doing box and beam because we're not building up above. We're not building. Up and down, we're just building a single story, and we're and we're not using hollow block in the wall. We're using styro and and steel uh, with rendering on both sides. So it's a whole whole different process uh, that we're doing. Yeah, once once we get the grade set here, then we'll get our rebar all put in, and then we will uh, get the, ready to pour cement on. Tomorrow, uh, Thursday, right? Yeah, Tomorrow and that's going to be the day eight, day eight in our building.
enough and one is good enough it'll never come out of there okay all right Lunch wow. time. Tinulang manok. As meron tayong pinato yung adobo. O di ba? So Charlie, what's the purpose of this orange thing? It's for all your electrical outlets in the wall. Where we're using metal studs, it's hard to put wires through, so I'm going coming up through the floor. And then I'll go right up in between in the styrofoam and then put your box. Okay, dude. side by side so they'd be joint side tied together. <laughs> well, we're ready for day seven. We got our electrical conduit in, our rebars in and tied, grade shot and leveled and squared. So all we gotta do is pour 24 bags of cement tomorrow. <laughs>